Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Thursday 29th of October. So uh, before I look at the technicals, let's just look at key news today. We've already seen the Bank of Japan's uh, statement. Uh, following on from that now, we've got uh, the uh, US uh, advanced GDP that might create some volatility around 12.30. 12.45, we've got the, um, the ECB's uh, uh, statement and uh, r rates and decisions there and then at 1.30 we've got the uh, ECB press conference so around that 12.45, 1.30 time we could see some volatility for sure. Aside of that then that's it really for the day in terms of that type of economic news. In terms of other news we may still get Brexit comments which we saw yesterday but all in all I think most risk is, uh, is, 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 is to the potential downside at this stage. So let's have a look at these markets accordingly. Um, Euro dollar Yesterday broke through. Uh, I'm, I keep on talking about these significant trends. It's running through trend after trend after trend. We looked at this in a trading room yesterday, and it's uh, well. I, I did a question whether it would manage to pull back within the the, the readjusted trend. This trend line is it's, it's fanned out effectively. It originally was back here somewhere. You can, well, you can see where the original trend line is still there actually, and then we adjusted it slightly just. Uh, to take into account of this low here but I mean it really I mean obviously broke the original trend there um, started a newer trend a short-term trend broke that and it, at the moment is looking really quite soft when you come down to the four alleys forget the trends for a moment just read the price action and the lower highs are coming through here there's potential for this to break the lows again this morning um, at this rate um, and maybe roll over so it really is a market to uh, well it's through its daily pivot there S1's the potential at about 1714 so looking soft at the moment on the euro the pound is a bit of a, a, a an odd case obviously is the Brexit uh, bounce yesterday we saw it uh, ironically test beautifully into the uh, daily 34 at one stage there um, it, it then took a, a, a really decent bounce initially um, off the uh, Brexit discussions and well, it held up quite well on that bounce it did actually go back up further um, and uh, make a make a new afternoon high um, currently though it's really just really following the euro at the moment already caught the daily pivot a break of the breakdown here we've got a bearish pivot swing could see it for moving further down for now but the risk with the pound of course is any th further brexit, brexit uh, communications which could see it fly positively we'll see but for now um, as I say it's it's running down uh, dollar yen the dollar, um, well, um, the yen, I should say the yen's gaining against the dollar here, pushing down further. I did wonder yesterday whether we'd see a bit more reaction to this, uh, these lows, and I still wonder if, if we'll see sort of further comments coming through. Um, it's not a level that the uh, Bank of Japan really wants to see the, do uh, the yen down to. Um, and well, as I said, we could we could still see some sort of discussions and uh, comments and unhappiness about it which may uh, create a bounce. The Bank of Japan were, were renowned for um, intervening um, on the currency when it got uh, overly strong in the past. Well, we'll see. Um, they, they've refrained from doing that but there, there was comments of it previously so I'm just sort of aware whether the comments are just stronger than the actual actions at the moment but either way um, as, as risk off we've seen money running back into the yen as a, as a safety currency catching a bit of a bounce at the moment still may roll uh, further there Aussie dollar Aussie dollar is uh, it, it was one of the weakest yesterday along with the New Zealand dollar and the Canadian dollar the three commodity currencies that we look at um, certainly looking soft ran, ran into its uh, 4 hourly 8 here uh, through the Asian session and well looks like ooh, it's missing the daily pivots above there but to this uh, bearish sort of uh, price action we're seeing here almost a bearish engulfing candle here on the pre previous hour but it does look like it's uh, got further the downside maybe back towards that 70 40 area that's the Aussie Canadian dollar if I put the Canadian dollar on would be good there we go so Canadian dollar again solid um, weakness 
So the strength of the US dollar here against the Canadian dollar pushing up towards it that well into its daily 100. Bit of a reaction off that at the moment. Um, hasn't pushed too far beyond but it's just sort of setting up looking like well there may be a continuation but uh, solid update there yesterday uh, for the dollar um, as we say just coming down the time frames looking well it's just short of its daily pivot maybe it will it'll come back for that but it's putting this uh, bullish pivot swing and further upside uh, as I said is is more likely in this trend okay um, that's that looking at uh, New Zealand dollar briefly New Zealand dollar, well, again, bearish pivot swing there. Big down day relatively yesterday. It was at one time certainly the softest of the of the bunch. It has been holding up pretty well, but uh, consolidating where we are now, consolidation as opposed to bouncing suggests further downside to me. And, well, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Very choppy chart at the moment. Untouched daily pivot. Would always like to see the daily pivot touched out of the way because of the probability of them being hit so high. But for now... Um, maybe maybe we've got for as I say it may just run off without it so looking soft this morning okay S&P's then let's have a quick look at the S&P's so wow um, not too sure if that's quite correct that gap in there I think it's a bit of a miss miss data it looks like a bit of a missing data there but currently where price is um, certainly down actually and it's not the missed data at all of course that was the gap in the market I've got the SPX here so I've got the cash market it's just whoo had me worried there let's put the futures on um, there you go uh, either way um, quite a solid day down there again yesterday and it's not looking great now I mean it's uh, it actually did look like it put a, a drop of a gap in there uh, yesterday and as I said um, say yesterday where was it I'll pick it up again in a moment but it did look like a bit gappy anyway um, it uh, has come down to its S4 which crikey we rarely see this in any of the markets um, uh, but uh, see the weekly S4 is being hit there finding a bit of support off that but looking at it on a daily basis and it's really just back into daily pivot and looking weak and again bearish pivot swing maybe got further further downside to be had there okay um, and finally gold gold came off yesterday um, quite a, quite a bit let's just uh, run through gold um, again there we go dollar strength is not good for uh, gold normally and here we go it's uh, solid down they broke broke out of that range it was tight that tight old range really would prefer to see these ranges broken out and uh, hopefully uh, some further c continuation of movement sorry if you're long gold but um, for now qu quite like this price action and uh, the potential for it to potentially run as they run further down Okay, that's pretty much it for me today. So just watch out. Uh, Twelve thirty, uh, advanced GDP today. That's the first reading uh, of the um, U.S. Uh, uh, growth, uh, and then uh, we've got the uh, European uh, ECB data at uh, twelve forty-five and one thirty. The, the uh, press conference. That's it for me. Have a great day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.